Good morning. Good morning. Um, first day after Easter break, April 5th, 2021. Put that in your warm-up notebook. This is your warm-up. Um, copy it down exactly like it is, even the word problem. And uh, and we're going to do this today. We got seven weeks, I think someone said, till the end of school. And then... Um, and then... Um, not that long to the SOL test, so we're gonna we're going to go in review mode. We're gonna do one or two more new stuff, but then we're gonna go into review mode. All right. You should know all these answers. All right. First one says circle all that are equivalent to one tenth times one tenth. So remember, at the beginning of the year, all we did was learn how to write numbers a different way, and so there's more than one way to write this number. All right. Number two says choose all that are perfect squares. Remember. Um, one times one, right? I'm giving away an answer there. One would be a perfect square. Two times two. Four would be a perfect square, right? And then the last one is a word problem where Mr. Bowers bought a new fishing rod. It cost $89.99. Sales tax was 5%. How much was Mr. Bowers purchased and all? All right. Get these down. Um, get the answers and then turn this back on and see how you did. All right. So... Pause it right now, get these written down, and do the questions. All right, hopefully if you don't have them done, these questions done, pause this thing right now, get them done, because I'm getting ready to do them, all right? Okay, so circle all that are equivalent to one-tenth times one-tenth. So this is a little bitty number. If we multiply these fractions, one times one is one, ten times ten is a hundred. So we're looking for something that's one one-hundredth, right? Um, that would be 100. This is too big. This 10 squared is 100. This one would work. Okay? So this answer. Um, we need 1 one hundredth. This is 2 one hundredths. This is not a negative number. This is a negative number. So that's no good. A negative number. So no good. You can never, ever, ever have a negative exponent on the bottom of a fraction. So that's no good. This number, negative exponent up top, when you get rid of that, it turns into this. So this is a good answer. And 1 one hundredth, 0 tenths, 1 one hundredth. This is a good answer. So there's three good answers. This one, this one, and this one. All right? Okay. Choose all that are perfect squares. So we try to find numbers that are perfect squares. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 is a perfect square, so 10 is, the next one is 4 times 4, 16. So 10 is not a perfect square. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 is a perfect square. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 is a perfect square. 1 times 1 is 1. 2 times 2 is 4. 3 is in the middle, so it's not a perfect square. Let's see. 10 times 10 is 100. 11 times 11 is 121. 12 times 12 is 144, so that's not a perfect square. 289 is a perfect square. That is 17 times 17. This is not a perfect square. 15 times 15 is 225. And 16 times 16 is 256, so that's in between. 4 times 4. 9 times 9. Not a perfect square. Nope. We're looking, 19 times 19 is 361. That's 364. 7 times 7, there's 361. That's 19 times 19. 196 is 14 times 14. That's a perfect square. 255 is not a perfect square. 256 is 16 times 16, so that's not a perfect square. And this is 18 times 18, 324. So you should have had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 of them checked. 9 of them. Last but not least, I bought a fishing rod for $89.99. Sales tax was 5%. How much was the perfect? All right. First thing we do, take our sales tax, or percent, and change it to a decimal. Turns into 0.05. And then we multiply that times $89.99. This is going to give us, well, where's my calculators? What the heck? Where are all my calculators? 
I need a calculator. Who the heck took all the calculators? There's one. What the heck? I got to find him. Huh. Who took all the calculators? Ridiculous. So I do 89 times 0.05 and I get I get this number. 4.4995. Remember, I'm only worried about the first two, but if there's a number there, I gotta look at it. And that nine tells me to add a penny. So my tax is four dollars and fifty cents tax. All right. So that's my tax. I, the question says, was Mr. Bowers purchased in all? How much was it in all? So I got to pay for the fishing rod plus the tax. Nine, four, carry the one, 14, carry the one, $94.49. All right. Hopefully this was old news to you. Gosh, I gotta find my calculators this morning. I'm gonna jack my calculators. All right, gotta gotta find them. Um, hopefully you got this. We'll be reviewing a lot between now and the end of the year. Peace out, Girl Scouts.